we're back at the uh, same place we caught big one at uh, actually two days ago in the H stand I went back yesterday and the H stand was sprung so it just gave me bad vibes so I pulled the H stand out whatever changed out some sticks so hopefully um, that'll make a difference on these bank dents here anyway see if we go get some beaver well we replaced my H stand with a blocking or with a regular stick because I just don't like I don't know I just don't like H stands sometimes they work sometimes they don't so we're back here caught a beaver here a couple days ago had a sprung trap last time that you guys haven't seen replaced it and now I can see us I can see us or I can see my stake floating there and I can see beaver foot and tail just to the right of it that means replacing that worked like a charm because there's our beaver you guys right there exactly what we wanted to see and this must be our swivel stick right here sure is and there's our beaver pull this guy up here and get a look at him looks like a nice probably a two-year-old oh boy come on get this out of there and I can straighten him out a little bit Why I use, that's why I like to use sticks, wood. Beaver, a lot of beavers don't see wood coming. I don't know, maybe it's just me that thinks that way. But, as you can see, once again, a regular natural stick has produced a beaver here. Missing some hair there, getting kind of short and curly. Get back in, bank den here. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, brought my long glove today so I can get in and place this trap however I want to. Here we go. There's a That was my blocking off stick, but there was yeah, is that a block? I think it's a blocking off stick right there, to be honest. Where's my trap here? There it is. Been warming up the last couple days. Yesterday it was super snowy, as you've seen. Now today, a lot of stuff's melting. All right, so. Okay, where are we at here? Ah. Oh. I'm gonna put my trap on the stake here. Let it go down like so. I'll shove this into the bottom here someplace. Beavers can't get away. The old lady hasn't bothered me since that first day, which is really nice because, I mean, she knows that she can't do nothing to me or say nothing or anything. So they're trying to scare me off. Ain't happening. Sorry. Alright. My trap swung over to here. Perfect. That swivel stick in place. Here we go. Get this 
wire back in the water. That way they can't see it. If they do happen to come over here, and voila, we got ourselves a pretty nice beaver. Oh. We'll take a look at the other trap down here. Tore up, that's for sure. Um, here's my stake. There's my my wire for my go up under the run. Or what's going on here? Oh, what do we got here? Look at that, you guys, boom. Freaking double. Nothing out of anywhere, and then a double. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. Double. Huh. Either an electric car just went by, or a motor or a golf cart did or something so I can hear is like <laughs> squirrels and stuff basically huh okay well crap guys I wasn't expecting to double you know sprung trap yesterday today this trap back into place like so down the bottom oh. Oh. here we go freaking rights boys and girls don't worry ladies I'm not leaving you out either I just use boys as a general term for people Right. I just wanted to come over here and look a little bit because I was contemplating putting in a foothold right over in that area because these beaver have been coming up here and just checking all this out eh, we'll just stick with what we got going yo what's up so before I get into this sh smorgasbord of what I'm doing here I just want you to know that you know asking permission goes a long way um, that's gonna be one of my topics of this video is asking permission there's this red house back here and you know I've trapped beaver on this lake for quite a few years I've never had to come you know up on anyone's property there's a house out here you know and you can trap you know along the shoreline and in the water and stuff um, on a big public lake like this but it's late in the year and in order to trap these beaver I really need to efficiently anyway I got to come onto this property and and uh, trap this lodge right the big lodge right there some bank dens and stuff along the shoreline here and um, yeah it's open water so I thought you know what I want to trap this lodge but I gotta get permission you know um, there's no trespassing signs in, or there's not any no trespassing signs along this late lot it looks open some people would just walk along the shoreline and not ask permission. It's the wrong way to go about it, you guys. Um, if you're going to be going onto someone's property, you know, you want to legally do it. You don't want to give trappers a bad name and just go trespassing everywhere. So I stopped up at this guy's house. This guy was super nice. He was like, hey, or actually I opened the door and he just was like, come in. Just like, like he, I was his best friend and. You know, he stood nose to nose talking with me, you know, and I just said, you know, I said, can you guess what I'm out doing in these waders? And he's like, you're here to catch the beaver, right? And I said, I, you know, if I get permission, he's like, you go ahead, you know, and we talked for a few minutes. He invited me to stay for coffee. 
Um, I don't have time today. I'm going to set these traps. I told them tomorrow if I make a catch or two, I'm going to swing back through and have some coffee with them. Super nice guy. You know, always pays ask permission. Maybe they won't let you trap, whatever. Move on to the next house or wait till, you know, next year when you can get on the lake from the road over there or whatever you want to do. Anyway, we're going to get to this spot here. There's a lodge built right here on the bank. Pretty nice one. Uh, there's definitely a run right out front there I'm going to try to get into. There might be another one over there. Feed pile over there. And I'd say there's one bank down there and there's another one down there somewhere. Um, yeah, so we're going to check them out here and try to get some traps into this place. All right, so <laughs> around this lodge, there's a super deep run there, a super deep run there, and a shallow run on that side of the lodge. That one there has trees like four to seven inches in diameter over the entire top of it. There's no way I'm getting that run set. Um, bank den down there bank den down there so I'm gonna set up this deep run here and these three bank dens gonna be interesting setting them up um, well the deep ones anyway so I mean you can see I got a blocking off stick here that's about 12 feet long no beyond it, that's probably eight feet seven feet maybe long I'm just gonna try to get the ends of it down where I can just jam it in the mud. Nice. The bottom of these runs are actually nice hard bottom runs so hopefully I can just jam this in the mud. This one here is just going to have a blocking off stick on one side. There. I've got my stake on the other side. Then a long swivel stick. I don't know how much of this you guys are going to see. My tripod is broke. Um, but it's going to be blocking off stick on the, on my left side, stake on the right hand side, trap swinging in between them with that long swivel stick. Uh, yeah, let's set this, oh, right there. This is going to be interesting. I might not even talk when I'm setting this just because it's going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, pounded that in. I'm actually standing on some decent branches here that are gonna give me some leverage. Now this runs, I would say this runs probably almost five foot, I don't know, four, four and a half foot deep. It's tough to set these deep runs like this. Wind's coming up, boys and girls. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not liking it. I'm gonna make things difficult for my audio. I'm gonna secure my safety here. Get that spring compressed because I want that trap sitting right on bottom. Tough part here is gonna be getting this trap placed because there's a tree branch down here that's just not. Ooh, I might actually I might make it. In fact, I'd say I just made it. Uh-huh, right? Okay, hey, so I got this trap on the bottom. And I'm just gonna shove this into the bottom here a ways. I know this stick can't go in anywhere. So I'm gonna go like this across the top of it to anchor my trap. I got my swivel stick here. So here's my stake, or my block off stick, here's my stake. I'm looking down. 
This is going to tell you where my trap is at. So my trap is sitting way off to the side over here, right? Yeah. Oh no, it's down, straight down, sorry. With this, I'm just feeling where my trap placement is at. There we go, my trap is right about center of the run where I want it. I mean, this set, there we go. This set actually wasn't as hard to put in as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna pound this in the bottom a little bit. There we go. Well, heck, there we go ladies and gentlemen. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be to set that trap. Yeah, sir. All right, got this run coming out of the lodge here. Pretty hard bottomed run, not very wide. Put in a blocking off stick right here on this side. So, blocking off stick, other side, no blocking off stick, just my stake. Okay. Chop the bottom of this guy off here. Sharpen the point on it. All right, there's my stake. All right, got the springs compressed. this bad boy right perfectly in the run oh yeah that's a solid set right there anyway it should be as long as it catches a beaver it is anyway ah. got my cable here trying to open her up a little bit there we go Anchor that to this, so this beaver doesn't go anywhere. If I catch one, um, swivel stick is over here. I'm gonna get this in the bottom just a little bit further. There we go. Moving this to the side. See my trap right there. We're gonna just put this guy right where I think it should be. Swivel stick in. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm putting it under this tree to get a little extra. Oh yeah. There we go, you guys. Trap number two is in. Right. Make a Pretty quick set here, I would call it.
blocking off stick in, trap, stake, down, and in. Nice long stick here. Beavers will have to pull through ice and rock and rushes. That's not going to happen. So that is in. Trap is placed about perfectly, I'd say. Swivel sticks going in. And there we go, you guys. Trap is in. A bunch of this ice is here. I'm probably gonna push it back in. Let it run a little bit. Oh. There we go. Trap number three is in. All right, four traps in here. We'll be back tomorrow, see what happens. Well, everybody, it is snowing out like crazy, big, giant flakes. Last night, forecast called for 100% chance of rain today. Rain today, rain. Now, it says um, three to five inches of snow with a 100% chance of rain today. How does that even work? I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, interesting. Hmm. Well, so the other places haven't been producing beaver. The last couple, you know, the last uh, couple checks. Yeah, last couple checks. You know, it's been two days. So I'm letting them sit for a couple days. But we're going to come out and check this one. So you're gonna, you're probably going to see a couple checks on this from this lodge on the next video here. But I just set this lodge up yesterday. You guys seen that? Um, I'm looking here. And yesterday I put this set in right here. Okay. See that big tall stick sticking out of the water right there? It's angled. It shouldn't be like that. So, really hoping there's a beaver there. Um, yeah, is that, how about down there? Right in the water there. Yeah, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, I really, it was supposed to be raining today. I was gonna come out in the rain and check all this. And then everything would be great for me to set caster mounds. But apparently, that's not crapping. So, gonna run down and check these sets and hopefully we can pull a beaver or two. All right, well we set this bank down yesterday. Set this bank down yesterday. Um, is that a tail? There's a tail right there. There's a beaver tail right there, you guys. So that's a connection 100%. 100%. Oof, duh. Right? Yeah, there's a beaver. Ha! And you got to worry about. Yeah, there's the stake right there. All right. Sweet. Not a bad beaver either. All right. Well. Heck, can't complain about that at all. Other than the fact I can't find my swivel stick. Ooh, there it is. Got my swivel stick back. Bam. This is awesome. Well, that's one beaver for sure. Possibly two after seeing how messed up those sticks are. 
over there on that set. Go, that trap's reset. Got us, uh, I would say, medium sized beaver here. Here we go. One beaver down. And a tree branch stuck in my hoodie. There we go. There's got to be an, another beaver down here, right? Is that? Set is pretty messed up. This one over here, we'll check this other one first, but that one has definitely had some activity. This one looks like it had some activity as well. My, I don't know what a lot of this is. That looks like a, that looks like somebody's steak. There's, oh, there's this beaver right there. Looks like a nice one too. Right by the head. Even. There we go. The old duke. That's a nice, that's a nice big beaver. Oh yeah. Uh, two-year-old I'd say right by the head caught this one coming in I'm assuming that's because this run out here didn't get set it's just too uh that run was just too deep or not I wouldn't say too deep but uh um too many sticks over it that's two for two on our sets that's Pretty freaking awesome. Oof. There we go. That guy didn't make it anywhere. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect, you guys.
Mm -hmm. I got a feeling that there's a third beaver over here in this next set. A good feeling. Pound this back in place. Grab the old swivel stick, put that back in place. And a little more angle to it. There we go. All right. Beaver. Number two, right here, Shaboom, that's about a two-year-old, I'd say. Now, let's go, there's got to be one down here, right? Got to be. I just got to try to get down here without falling in. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's definitely something going on here. Okay. Well, that's my, this is my swivel stick right here, right? No, it's my trap, there's a beaver in that. Gosh, and that, huh, that's gonna be a big beaver. There's no way that something could mess this up this much and it not be a really big beaver. Where's my swivel stick though? I had a really nice swivel stick. How did this guy, did he chew this off? They chewed it off. Okay, so I caught a beaver in here. The other beaver chewed the stick off. That's why it's floating. Yeah, I got a little beaver, okay. <laughs> it's a beaver though. That's why it's floating. Okay. A really small beaver in that one. And the reason this was floating is because more beaver came out and couldn't make it through. So they chewed off my blocking off stick right here. See, it's all chewed off by the beavers. Yeah. Um, hopefully my stake is here, my swivel stick is here somewhere. I'll get in the water and look for it. It's really important. I need that long swivel stick. Huh. What's well, three beaver? No. You guys? Woo. Well, first check on this lodge wasn't too bad. I went three for three. Didn't get any giants, but I, I would say. Got a little guy here. Little guy. And what I would, I, that's probably a two year old. And this one is probably, I don't know if that one's even as big as that one. I don't think so. I don't think so, you guys. Yeah. I don't, I would think we actually got three different size beavers here. Got a small one. This one is definitely larger. And that one is the biggest one. I would call that a like a, a small, medium. This is a medium and this would be a extra large. Because you can you can see a small tail, bigger tail. Not quite as big as this one though. So well, good trap check. So hopefully we check the next time. We got some more, maybe a big one. Check those other ones, pull a big one out of there. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that little episode. Um, haven't had any more problems with the old lady at all. Um, what I'm kind of sad about is down at the other end of the lake, there's a big beaver lodge right on shore that I wanted to trap. And I go and I look, who owns the property around the whole thing? The old lady. So she kind of got me.
A little karma action, huh, boys and girls? So, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I think we pulled five beaver off that video. Three on the snowy day, and then uh, two today on that bank, on those bank dens where uh, that lady's at. Anyway, I did get some more traps out today, some nice ones that you guys will be seeing in the next episodes coming up here. Uh, yeah, can't wait to check these bad boys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out. I was angry.